have the report, pages of allegations and denials. A female intern who says she was propositioned and harassed. The unnamed woman said she cut her hair to look less attractive and even pretended to be gay to avoid unwanted attention from the senator. So let's get straight to the report. The female claims she ended up at the senator's apartment after a night of dinner and drinks. And twice, Lavota told her, if you want to sleep with me tonight, I won't tell you no. Lavota says this intern has never been to his apartment. The intern says she can tell you all about the inside of the apartment, even the color of Lavota's couch. The intern says there were numerous text messages from the senator describing her as, quote, perfect and beautiful, telling her we are secret friends. Other messages of a possessive nature asking her, where are you? What are you doing this weekend? The report contains allegations of a hostile work environment when she turned down the senator, that she was labeled a troublemaker, special projects came to a dramatic halt, and that the senator actually called her derogatory names. Senator Paul Lavota is speaking out, saying none of these allegations are true. The report to, to me reinforces that there was no proof against, about these allegations. I didn't do anything, there was no harassment, and uh, the report outlined things, but there was no proof of anything. So it, to me, it reinforces that I did nothing. So check the phones, right? Well, it's not that easy. The interns switch phone carriers, and Senator Lavota will not hand over his phone, citing privacy concerns, and he doesn't want to hand over his phone with personal information to the opposing political party. So what's next? Well, that's up to senators from across the state who are seeing this report tonight. Reporting live in Independence, Angie Ricono, KNBC 9 News.